dry season in Tanzania's Serengeti National Park. Times are tough, but scars heal, and the great herds are marching ever closer. After a few days, pride life finally settles down. The lions begin their courtship. They rarely conceive on their first estrus after a takeover. They need assurance that the new lions are strong enough to protect the pride and that they are here to stay. The nomads are now pride protectors. These juvenile males, bachelors to be, enjoy all the advantages of a stable pride for now. In time, they will take on the mantle that every successful lion must bear. Like their new protectors, they will become nomads until old enough to take a pride of their own. Being pride protectors has its benefits. The females do most of the work. But why kill when cheetahs will do it for you? Lions are opportunists and prefer to minimize risk. They are much more powerful than the more slender cheetahs. Even at three against one, it's no contest. Oh. Superior strength also applies within the pride, but this lioness is tenacious. Not hungry enough to take the kill, the lion breaks off his chase. Although prey is scarce now, the pride has been successful hunting on the outer reaches of their territory, and sometimes targeting unusual prey. The big cats claim a vantage point in acacia trees. The males hang back, too conspicuous in an ambush. One well-aimed kick from an adult giraffe could kill Africa's biggest cat. At this time of year, our lion's hunger outweighs the risks of engagement. giraffes rely on their mothers to lead them from an assault.
their tactics. As does their prey. A giraffe mother's next best defense is to hide her babies in the undergrowth. a deadly game of hide and seek. The young giraffe is too exposed. The giraffe is not strong enough to take on her aggressors. The giraffe will be forced to abandon the acacia forest to give her future offspring a fighting chance of survival. Lions, too, are forced farther out to widen their net. Baboons rarely feature on their hit list. Adult males armed with big teeth defend their troops. Hunger is an all-powerful incentive. Baboons are vulnerable while foraging on or near the ground. They use their numbers to deter attackers. They can mob and injure big cats, but an empty belly prompts bold action. Her only chance of a meal is a lone monkey caught off guard. A single baboon may sustain one lioness, but only if she keeps it for herself. Screams of alarm give her game away. Lioness and her prize are mobbed after scant mouthfuls.
dry season severity is almost at an end. The pride has one last prey animal in its sights before the rains. Buffalo are among the few options remaining in the pride's territory. They are the biggest and most dangerous creatures the lions take on. Our males are not built to run down prey. Their size and mane make them cumbersome hunters. But when hunger forces them to act, they take on an animal three times their weight. for our male to strike. Success will provide for our whole pride, but the risks are great. The buffalo hasn't given up the fight. The herd starts a counterattack. The lion's time is running out. The mighty buffalo herd rallies against their attackers. Our lion's power and iron will triumph. No pride member goes hungry with prey of this size. It's a respite in the last days of the dry season. But salvation is on the horizon. Transformation is at hand. Pregnant with precipitation, storm clouds reach the pride's territory. front runners arrive in our lion's territory. The adolescent males, the bachelors to be, are tolerated by the new pride males. But time in their maternal pride is ticking away. The invader males are now fully integrated into the pride. One savors the rich pickings to come. The other does what a lion does most of all. It's the start of the wet season overabundance and just as well, as there are now more mouths to feed. In a secluded acacia scrub, our lead lioness gives birth to the new male's offspring, three and a half months after conception. She seeks seclusion at this time to 
minimize risk to her newborns. Her cubs are born totally helpless, and it can take 11 days for their eyes to open. This show was created for you and your family to watch together. Welcome to Nacho Wild. These cubs are lucky. They will have no other cubs in competition for milk when they're old enough to join the pride. But to get sustenance, first, they have to find the right part of mom. Oncoming herds of wanderers are now pouring into the pride's territory. The lions are spoiled by the choice. Pride males rarely hunt for themselves. With their manes, they're far too conspicuous to potential prey. Their main function is to defend the pride against rival bachelors. The numbers of the arriving herds are astonishing, but that number is about to swell dramatically. Thousands of baby wildebeest are delivered within three weeks of each other. This tactic overwhelms predators and ensures that a large percentage of calves survive. prey so plentiful, the lion's stalk is almost redundant. are not hungry, but such easy prey is hard to resist. predators at work. Hyenas, too, are swift to take advantage of the surplus source of food. There is no killing bite. Their victims are disemboweled and die within a few minutes. In turn, their nourishment will benefit their demanding offspring. The cheetah is mindful of other predators that are direct threats to her cubs. Moving dens is risky. Lionesses are very tolerant with their own cubs, but savagely intolerant of any other predator's offspring. Relocating is never safe when there are predators around. 
only one cheetah cub can be moved at a time. And this leaves those waiting all too vulnerable. It's one life lost. Only half of cheetah cubs make it to three months old. Our two males provide a more secure home for their offspring. The skills of the lion's next generation are usually honed by play. Our males spend their rest periods a little less actively. Lions relax up to 21 hours a day. The pride's maturing young males, the bachelors-to-be, are keeping a low profile. The adult males will not tolerate their presence much longer. These sub-adult males will leave their pride and form a bachelor coalition when they reach about two and a half years old. At five years old, they will look for a pride of their own. It's a big step. It's an unforgiving world without the support of their pride behind them. And it's getting drier. farewells. They must travel beyond the scent marked boundaries of their mother's territory and into the ranges of neighboring prides. Now they are nomads and trespassers forced constantly on the move to keep out of trouble. The two new young bachelors take time to cement their strong bond. This head rubbing relates to scent sharing, another aspect that unites the two. But what really unites them is that two is twice as intimidating as one. They need each other. They also need food, something their pride females have always provided. In this new and unknown area of the plains, there is prey. But the young lion's inexperience counts against them. The bachelor duo will have to start small. Ostriches lay eggs in the open. The female on guard has no choice but to move on as the boys feast.
young wanderers develop the distinctive adult mane. Still intruders at another prize water hole. This male is not old enough to be alone. His pride must be somewhere near. Traveling at the tail of the mass of dark bodies are the tan and lithe Thompson's gazelles. These grazers find sustenance in grasses others have abandoned but they are still fair game. The resident pride here is ruled by a single male, and as ever, it's the pride females who do most of the work. always preferable when the terrain presents perfect cover. Young Tommies that don't read the signs run into big trouble. Lioness is unaware of new males, the bachelor duo, in her pride's territory, and takes her catch off to eat. But the boys are hungry. Pride lions don't share food, females, or territory with outsiders. The lioness is alone, her pride some distance away. She's nervous of this unknown, intruding male. And there are two of them? There are always others who will deal with the leftovers. Another clan of hyenas and their pups also have a den in the resident pride's territory. The pups are boisterous and playful. Pups, even at this age, have a voice. Their distinctive cackling howl is well developed, but this is not the time or place to advertise their presence. The resident pride has already ousted their sub-adult males, but one returns to scrounge some of the kill. It's a big mistake. Once lowly sub-adults themselves, our bachelor males are now four years old 
and make a formidable team. They have yet to encounter the resident pride, but are approaching the penultimate milestone in their maturity. The extermination of the competition. Like the cheetah cubs slain by the first pride, the hyena cubs are potential targets. They're not powerful hunters now, but from a lion's brutal instinct, they are rivals. Babysitting adult hyenas are too few and have no choice but to flee. The offspring underground will have to trust in their luck. And it's all bad. what it takes to be a successful lion. The bachelor males assert their dominance. Hyenas abandon their compromised den. Only the scavengers are left to pick over what once was the hyena's future. These impressive big cats, now in their prime, have one more goal to achieve. Take over. This lioness, part of the stable resident pride, senses only imminent rain. The lone pride male is not powerful enough to protect his extended family. A lioness with new cubs has most to fear and most to lose from a takeover. But the bachelors are primed. One bachelor breaks off towards the rocky outcrop known as a copy. His partner stays on the plains. The lioness must hide her cubs. Two against one. The ruling king knows he's beaten. Without a Killer in kindergarten.
maternal instinct fired up, the lioness does what she's compelled to do. Defend her young at any cost. farther away. Job done. Are simply stages in the bachelor's lives, events that must occur to guarantee their own future. A future bound with this new pride whose stability the intruders have utterly destroyed. In time, the females will bear cubs. The cycle of brutality Success depends on sudden, effective, and deadly acts of violence. All for the sake of a pride. Brutal, yes. Killers, of course. But for this big cat, that's what it takes to be a lion. 